Here you can see the cool shadows that are created and not only that but we also have enemies or the other players behind the shadow and I'm going to show you how to make this so let's get started. So first you want to have your character. It's simply a kinematic body for me and it has simple top down movement just like this. Here I have a static body with the Among Us map in it and it doesn't have collisions right now but it does have light occlusion which then the light will make shadows off that. So all you have to do is create a new light occluder node. Yeah, simply new occluder. And you want to click around where you want your shadows to bounce off of. After you finish that, you want to add a light to your player. So go to your player and add a new light 2D node here. You want to input a gradient texture, which I'll link in the description below. And you can adjust the texture scale to your liking. You can also change the energy to what you want and make sure it's on the add mode. You also want to make sure these masks here are all set to 1. You also have to enable shadow in here. Now you get this cool lighting effect and you can edit all the shadow properties in the light 2D. Now how do we add the lighting to go on this other player? Here? Right now this player is simply just a sprite but we want to set the light mask to 2. This will make all lights on 2 only shine on this object. So to show you how to do this, I'm first going to hide the light 2D. First thing you want to do is just duplicate the light 2D you already have. And you want to go into the second light 2D and set the mode to mask. This will create a mask so we can change what is visible and what isn't depending on the color here. So to do that, all we have to do is go into shadow and we're going to set the item color mask to 2. And we're going to go into range and set the item color mask to 2. And now you can see that it will hide behind the shadow. This works because it's simply telling all the sprites, whatever is on the second layer, which this is on the second layer, it will hide behind the shadows and behind the light. If you see here, also if you get away from it, not only does the shadows make it so you can't see it, but also how far away you're from it. Now all we do is we add back the normal light and now we can't see the player behind the shadow. Here you can see it's transparent. That's because you want to set the energy to one on the mask. Let's play the project. If this video is helpful to you, make sure to leave a like, comment for more and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you later.